why, you know? Just why? Why even? You know, this video wouldn't even have been, like, made. Um, but before we begin, I might as well give you all a little backstory as to what's going on here. Now, lately we made, you know, I guess in the past month and, uh, you know, two months, I guess, there's been multiple videos made on the Konami issue, all right? You know, Konami is a company. It's been kind of weird this entire year, okay? This, this company has sort of went and lost its fucking mind. Now, what Konami is, uh, has done lately, if you hadn't have checked in the past couple days, is when the Game Awards were going, um, congratulations to The Witcher 3, by the way, pretty dank-ass game right there, you know? I love it. Um, Hideo Kojima, the man behind Metal Gear Solid V The Phantom Pain, the game that I made several videos about and centered around, too, in fact, even making an hour-long video just detailing the story of, uh, of Metal Gear games. That individual had earned an award, and before we begin, let me just tell you what this award is equivalent to. It's sort of like winning the fucking Emmys, you know what I mean? But for video gaming, which in itself is a pretty big part of the gaming world now, okay? Video games are a serious fucking business, all right? Especially when it comes to media and everything, too. So, this man earned an award. The award was for Metal Gear Solid V, the Phantom Pain, obviously, the game that had come out this year, the culmination of over 20 years of Metal Gear uh, this man had spent his time in, culminated all again, once again, finished the entire series at that point, and clearly gone, final Metal Gear game by this individual, um, was not allowed to receive the award that he had earned at the Game Awards. Now, here's the fucked up part of it. The people that said he couldn't get the award were none other than Konami, you know, staff. The Konami, you know, upper echelon, I guess you could say. Um, because Hideo Kojima has a legal binding to the company until the end of uh, the site life cycle, which is the end of this year, uh, or I think it's the beginning of Q1 next year, uh, he has relations to Metal Gear Solid V. This is where he's finishing the game, and once he's done, he's out of the company for good. Or that's how it you know supposed to be right i mean unless some other weird ruse shit comes out um this is it and konami the company said because of a legal binding to work on metal gear solid 5 that is not over yet he is still required to not attend any of these awards he can't go to get his award now while legally i guess they have the power you know i mean they got him in a legal pickle do you realize how fucking nasty this is? Let's think about it really quickly. Ever since the beginning of Some Ordinary Gamers, remember March 2012? And after that, how much weird shit has happened in gaming too? Remember when, like, King tried to fucking trademark candy and crud those words? That was nowhere in comparison to what happened here. Now, I'm not saying this because I'm a huge Metal Gear fan or I fucking licked the sweat off of Kojima's nuts. No, I'm a huge Metal Gear fan, but... I'm a person who works in my respective business and entertainment. Now, if anybody is to earn an award for anything, right, whether it be for engineering, you know, whether it be for TV uh, performances, film, music, all that kind of stuff, an award means something, you know, to, to, to the individual that receives it, okay? It's a testament to the amount of hard work they have put towards something. And for somebody such as Konami or whatever, to, in such a petty and very sodium-infused manner, Tell Hideo Kojima, no, or anybody that, or if anybody, say for example, this was fucking, you know, Warner Brothers, okay, and, and they had a little falling out with one of their, you know, partner directors, or something like that, and they, you know, they received an award, but Warner said, well, because you're legally contracted with this, you can't receive that award. That's a load of bullshit, and in any situation, this shouldn't be allowed. All this has done is made Konami look like utter tools in the eyes of any, you know, gamer out there. Look, this channel is some ordinary gamers, okay? It has a pretty weird line of content that, you know, is on it, okay? We got creepypastas, deep web, fucked up stuff, rants, some weird ass, truly weird games, some dank games, and all that kind of stuff. The one thing that centers around is that gaming is a major thing, okay? We, we really do like gaming. And we play multiple different kinds of video games here, okay? Not just Metal Gear, not just, you know, whatever you're seeing on the screen, not anything, Okay? For somebody here to be completely barred off, for any company to do it, is utterly disgusting. And again, since the beginning of Some Ordinary Gamers, you know, March 2012, all right, which, you know, has been, what, 
three years have passed since then, 2013, 14, 15, we've seen fucked up shit from every, every single developer, Activision, EA, you know, even, you know, Rockstar to an extent with their GTA, you know, online <laughs> stuff in the beginning, you know, whenever they had like the weird payout systems going up. We had a ton of stuff with a ton of different developers and publishers, but this is the worst, okay? Because this is something that not even EA, not even Activision, no one else would do, okay? And even then, respectively, EA and Activision, they may not be bad companies, okay? They have their businesses set in mind. Here, this doesn't affect their business in any way. What this does is just make them look like dicks in the eyes of the public, okay? What company, what group restricts its members, its hardworking staff, from receiving an award onto the work it's based off. How is this How is this affecting Metal Gear in any way? How is this doing anything? All this is is just someone is so fucking salty at the company. They had nothing better to do but to do this. Maybe to start controversy, maybe to do something else. Look, we know that Konami is going to make a shit ton of money for the most part because of their microtransactioning mobile game pachinko route. Okay, we get it. But this is the last swan song the guy is doing. Look... This man, you put him behind Castlevania, you put him behind Metal Gear, you put him behind a big bevy of your games, and the one thing you gotta just do, you know, not only have you burned a colossal bridge, not between Hideo Kojima, but between, you know, Gomer del Toro, all the other people that were associated with him, the people that respected him, okay, the people that you even brought on to work with the guy, they, you've burnt bridges with them too, okay, but then... You just didn't feel content in burning a bridge. You decided to fly over to their house, go inside, stick a rusty screwdriver, actually, inside their fucking chest, and twist it in. And that's what you did here. It's an award, okay? And, and the thing is, is that there's no shamelessness about it, too, okay? Like, there's no shame in it, apparently, okay? Even though you were blasted out publicly, there's no shame in restricting a hardworking man from the, you know, fruits of his fucking labor, I guess you could say. All right, but at the end of the day, I doubt, you know, Kojima cares anyways, you know, the guy's made his money, the guy's done what he had to do, whatever, it's all good. I don't know what to say about this entire thing, you know, if this was Ubisoft, I'd make a video about it too. If this was EA, I'd make a video about it. It's not because it's Konami related or whatever, it's because what happened over here is truly a big slap in the face to many gamers out there. And the reason I'm making this video here is because a lot of people here do love Konami games, you know? When I was a kid, in the 1990s, all right, when we were growing up, especially with the PlayStation 1, and even before that, Konami was like household, okay? And this honestly makes me feel really bad because, you know, I have I have a group of developers, okay, that I really, really, really have grown up with. You know, one of them is Squaresoft, for sure, okay? The other, the, you know, one of them is definitely Konami, okay? And, you know, we also have fucking, you know, Game Freak that I grow, obviously, with the Pokemon games. And, you know, down the line, we have multiple developers. You know, I even have fucking... I, ha I have a Bethesda, especially when I was a kid, you know, when we had the DOS computers, right? Um, you know, id Software is also included in that, too. You know, we had Doom and we had the Elder Scrolls, right? And I grew up with all those guys. And the thing is, Konami is one of those pillars, okay? You know, I played the Castlevania games on my Game Boy Advance, you know, till the cartridge fucking probably stopped working. I played Metal Gear Solid a shit ton amount of times. I've beaten it on streams in, a, in like one go multiple amount of times. For this company to just truly slap me in the face and many other gamers like it is kind of offensive. It's very offensive. But you know what? At the end of the day, they're a business, people. All right. And, and I see a lot of people bitching on the Internet and, and, and we shouldn't. OK, we don't have to. They're a business. All right. Konami has picked. Konami has burnt the bridge between me and a lot of other video gamers out there. They want to aim for fucking, what is it, pachinkos? That's their new market. Now, here's the fun side of it. Maybe, because let me tell you right now, some of these fucking morons at the company, okay, all they do is live in focus groups. Okay, that's all they live in, okay? They live in, like, charts and focus groups. All right, let me, let me point out something for you. How many, how many video games exist on the iPhone and Android store? A lot, okay? Just because you attach Silent Hill to something may give you a fair amount of downloads initially, but what about retention rate? You ever thought of that? Do you realize some of the biggest games are not even video game, like, title-related? Candy Crush? Shit, look at Family Guy, the quest for stuff. You know why that game's popular? Because it's constantly plugged. It's constantly relevant. Don't think just because you attach Metal Gear or Silent Hill, you're going to have that level of success. You won't. At the end of the day... 
You're going to lose all the success you built up since the establishment of your company. And mark my words, give it maybe a, two years, three years. Konami, once they, once they have been in that full mobile route, realize that it's oversaturated like a motherfucker there. There's not as much competitiveness as there is on the console market. And even in the PC AAA market. Then they're going to want to come back to make those millions of dollars again. Again, with games with multi microtransactions, they can do that. But at that point, the bridge is going to be so burnt, ladies and gentlemen. I don't care if they remake Metal Gear Solid or Metal Gear, Metal Gear or Metal Gear 2. You know, on the Fox engine or whatever. I'm not buying any more of their games. They've burnt the bridge with Kojima. And I had, and, and honestly, when I played video games from them, you know, Metal Gear, I had that bridge with Kojima. That bridge is burnt with him, and it's also burnt with me, and it's burnt with a lot of other gamers now. Konami, enjoy your new audience. Truly do enjoy it. And for those people who are into the Pachinko side, congratulations, you've got Konami. One of the premier companies in crap, sorry, free-to-play mobile games with uh, with amazing microtransactions, like totally fair, all right? And, and us gamers here, you know what? We have CD Projekt Red, the guys who made the amazing Witcher 3. The guys and gals who are making the amazing Cyberpunk 2077. We have we have Rockstar, we have Blizzard, we have Activision, we have EA. Oh, fuck, you know, I just uh, Ubisoft. I know I threw out a bunch of names over there, but you know what? As shitty as some people may think those companies are, they at least didn't slap us in the face like this. And I don't think any of them would just resort to the level that they have. Even Capcom, which I once fucking despised, is recovering. So you know what, Konami? Good. We don't need you. All right. We don't need you to dangle your fucking carrots in front of us. I don't give a shit. All right? Even after the stuff Square Enix pulled, I still will lick the fucking sweat off their taint compared to buying another Konami game. And I'm sure many of other gamers will too. This is me, Mudahar, and if you like what you saw, like, comment, and subscribe. Dislike it if you dislike it. Let me know in the con let me know what you think about the fuck fuckami or whatever the fuck it is. Dude, I don't even know, man. I'm kind of losing my mind right now in the comments below. This is me, Mudahar, and I gotta start my 768th playthrough of The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt.